Hi guys, welcome back to Factorio Shadow of Chernobyl. Um, I don't know why there's a belt on there. Alright, so uh, we're going to do my stuff now. Um, so the thing I realized though is that I'm not sure why I was uh, doing things the way I was. Let me let me show you let me show you what I mean. Um, so if I just put all my crap in this inventory, uh, in these boxes, um, you know how I was like transferring all the the good goody stuff to like the way I was doing it before. Well, look what I could just do. Oh hey, because these are stacks and these take because they can only have one per item on the line, so I could just do that. I don't know why I did it any other way, uh, but I'm just I'm just. I'm just bad, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna just uh, move the the good uranium down here too. Oh, of course. We don't need we we don't need that anymore. I don't think we're ever gonna need that. I think I I think that was at a at a time where like that may have made sense, but yeah. Oops. Uh, all right. So let's uh. Let's get this into some uranium 230 something. There you go. All right, so uh, we're gonna just uh, move a lot of this stuff around um, and we're going to upgrade our reactor. So I also have now put in, in my uh, in my armor, I put a lot more robot boards in there, uh, like a lot more. So each one has a robot limit of 25 and how many robots do I have with me? I have 50 on me right now. We can have twice as many. Um, so let's just go grab another stack of robots then, uh, because I think that's more valuable to us than anything. Yeah, Tiller Train is just chilling for now. Uh, we'll do some stuff with that, I'm sure, some, at some other point. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I've also resumed the uh, creation of uh, productivity modules because I have decided that I would like to finish productivity moduling the, uh, the blue chips. And then actually maybe make a layout for the green chips, because those are the things that also require a lot of resources. Um, as I said, I I cannot tell you what necessarily I should be doing productivity modules on. Um, all I know is that I, I, I want to use them a bit more. Anyways, all right. Sort of capacity bonus completed. Uh, this is a very big step for us, actually. Uh, holy shit. I don't think I've ever gotten this research. So now we get to decide on something else. I'm thinking Corvax Enrichment, although having Rocket Fuel would be pretty sweet too, because, I don't know, but then, then we can get Nuclear Fuel. Uh, we could start shooting for this, we could start shooting for this, or we could get like some, I mean we could get, uh, why don't we get Logistics System, just, you know, just to see what that is for, for, our, for our own sake, you know. What the hell's over here? Oh, there's some power poles here. What the fuck? All right, I, I was just gonna plug in some more just to make sure that like I had a little bit more, just in case, you know. Cause we're about we're just about to disconnect uh, uh, everything. All right, so uh, let's do our final preparations. So we have uh, a good abundance of steam turbines. As I said, I'm gonna deconstruct these steam turbines and then construct the rest of them. Uh, let's. We ha how many water things do we have? All right, piping is pretty good. I think I'd like to maybe get a little bit more uh, in terms of piping. I don't. I don't need a really el electronic. Uh, maybe did I make this last time? I don't even remember. But yeah, it would appear that high tech science is naturally is the problem, and it's the problem because of blue chips. But you know. As I said, that's why I want to kind of fix it up a little bit better, because it's like, we do have... I mean, we're going to need more copper, and we're going to probably work on that a little bit later. Uh, and we're going to use the artillery train, actually, to try and clear away maybe to this one. Um, I'll see. Uh, it's probably coming at the end of the episode, at the very least. Uh, just trying to see if there's anything else I need. just want to get rid of this stone bricks. There you go. Alright. Oh yeah, I was going to get a bit more piping, just in case. Let's just uh, run really fast over here. I don't think we need any more heat pipes. I think we're good with that. So we made the layout before. Right. Um, uh, I should get rid of these. I, I almost forgot about these. Alright, we, we still have like a, a bunch of crap that I actually don't want to have with me. 
I, I actually need to free up space because if we don't free up space with all this useless junk that I have, yeah, it's a problem. Uh, I don't think I need all this, these copper plates. Alright. Uh, what else do we need here? Okay, like a plastic bars for some reason. Um, Alright. It's looking a little better now. Because we're going to be filling up our inventory with a bunch of junk as well, so... I figure this is the perfect time to... To, like, I'm just placing some lights down, because whatever. I never did replace these turret uh, making stuff. Alright. Uh, programmable speaker. Let's just put some of this in actually this box over here. Uh, and we could probably get rid of all this stuff, too. Alright, so steel chest. We'll just keep the steel chest, I guess, for now. Um, actually, probably some of this should go into my car. Where's my, where's my wheels at? Even though the wheels kind of uh, aren't very useful right now. Um, like, we have, like, ovens and... Because we're not, we're not placing that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, we don't need all these flamethrower turrets and all that kind of stuff. I don't need the laser defense. Actually, I don't think I'm ever going to use that, to be honest. Uh, train signals. Oh, uh, one thing I will mention, though, about one thing. So, this train here... Oh, I actually didn't place that yet, huh? So, the thing I realized, I was going to make that a much larger... Um, I was going to make this a much larger train. But the thing I actually realized is that... Um, each one of these uh, artillery units counts as four carriages. So, in actuality, uh, to keep it at the same speed as these guys, it needs to actually have another train. Uh, and, and that's it. So, uh, not so pleased with that. Um, so, so when I was going before and I was like being very optimistic, going like, yeah, I'm going to put on like, fucking like a couple more things for that. Yeah, no, we're not actually doing that. Um, oh shit. Guys can see shit. All right, first time I died to a train. Will happen to me again. That is the one. That fucker. All right, first death for train. I mean, bound to happen. They're all automated. They don't care about you. You are not a factor. Trains don't care. All right, let's um. Uh, where's my belts? All right, I'm gonna just get rid of. I'm not going to get rid of belts. I'm going to add a couple. And then get rid of a few. And probably get rid of the... Uh, going to get rid of the blue ones I have. Because we're not using them right now. I just try to free up inventory space. Alright, I think I'm good. I think uh, we're as good as we're going to get. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind having a couple more substations, though. Which requires copper plates. Which I... Uh, foolishly gave away. Alright. So, um... Alright, so, this is, this is the moment. So, we're gonna say blacklist, um, nuclear reactor, so we don't ever wipe out the nuclear reactors we have here. There we go. So, this is something that we can do. Uh, but the very first thing we're gonna actually do here is we're going to... Um, remove these spent uh, uranium fuel cells. And I'll put them, like, down here somewhere. Alright, now it's time. Now it's time to Chernobyl's bitch up. Alright, let's see. Do I have this guy? I do. And I guess I'm going to make it go down as far as possible. Uh, oh. this These belts are in the way. Huh. I'm gonna have to redirect these. I mean, it doesn't need the it doesn't need the iron belt, but the definitely the stone is gonna have to change. I do not take that into account. Fuck. Uh, um. Hopefully, this is enough. Or maybe I should just make it go through the bottom. I should actually make it go through the bottom. Fuck. You know what? I'm just gonna load it. 
I've just decided it, it can go through the bottom pretty easily. In fact, like, I already have it kind of going down there. Alright, which means I, when I got rid of most of my stuff, it probably wasn't a good idea. Oh well, I'm just gonna do this, fuck it. Just make it go through here, it's fine. These are the things that we don't really think about. But luckily, I did think about it at some point. Actually, I should just, uh, actually, this is fine. Uh, so, we need to get rid of, unfortunately, all this stone that we. What the hell? Oh, I swapped it. I could just like remove this with the uh, bots actually. There you go. It's a beautiful, beautiful layout of these things. So I just want to make sure we clear out as much as possible without actually clearing out the nuclear reactors themselves. Alright. We have to do something about all the stone I have, though. They're all trying to like charge up right now, but if I if I just kind of grab them up, it's all good. Fortunately, oh, is there a box run here? Or oh yeah, there is a box there. Excellent. I like to see that. Um, I have no idea what to do about the, these stone bricks, though. Like I can get rid of some of them, but. They're never all going to truly go away. We have to make a box uh, full of them. Alright, is there anything else? I do not think so. Yeah, so it has some used up uranium cells that need to kind of offload in a, min in a minute. Alright, let's say it one more time. Chernobyl 2. Alright. Are we good to go? Our power capacity is high as... as high. I mean, the, the really smart thing to do would be what, while we're doing this is to disconnect furnaces or something, but... Um, I mean, we're not doing that, so... Uh, let me just double check one last time. It looks pretty good to me. That's as good as it's going to get. Alright. Uh, so let's start by disconnecting the, uh, the steam engines. Because as I said, we're trying to limit the amount of time that... That, that, that these probably... We're going to make a, a new set of, like, steam things somewhere else. I haven't decided where yet. Alright. Let's make sure all the bots are good. Alright, one last save. Actually, we could just, uh, we could also just disconnect these, uh, uranium, uh, fuel cells as well first. That way they're not having to make trips to me. Alright, that's yeah, definitely the time. Alright, and let's go. Right about here, let's do that. Alright, so the entire, ba entire base is now running upon those three things right here. Uh, Alright, let's put the the new layout down. They all want to recharge. As it's faster if I just pick them up. Even though the, uh, we actually have the charge capacity for it now. Well, I mean, you can look at my battery. It's it's like 
It's busy, man. All right. Get the rest of these up. There's a hundred bots, by the way, doing this. All right. Uh, pretty good so far. Uh, let's do two. Let's do two things. Let's uh, let's spin up one of these reactors, just one. Uh, I, the, the bottom two I'm going to leave uh, not spun up, so we're going to just uh, put these like this for now. Uh, and now we need to get, I think, I think the, the number, yeah, the number is five, uh, um, or maybe six or something. Maybe just five. All right. Five of these. Uh, let's try and go as much as we can, actually. Maybe leave a bit of space over here. Some water. We need to give it an abundance of water. That's one. Right now, this isn't enough water for it. We acknowledge that. Because they're very useful people. Uh, or something. I don't know. This is the part I didn't really plan out, but it's fine. Because this will come very shortly. Look, it actually needs to be like over here. Oh, logistic fin system finish. So it's either Corvax setup, which is uh, Corvax and Corvax in in rich and process. That is useful. But that's six thousand um, stuff. We can do nuclear fuel reprocessing, or we can go not to atomic bombs. Fuck that. Like I said, it's it's way more disappointing than you think. We it's not to say we won't do it, but. Um, I'm thinking at this point we actually start to go into something like uh, rocketry. I actually kind of wouldn't mind getting the rocket fuel out. I mean, we're not quite at the point yet where we want to do just finish the game. I don't know this one or this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna do rocket fuel because right? I want to I want to get uh, rocket fuel is so much fun actually. All right, uh, let's see here. Uh, how much more do I need? So I'd like to get it as much as I can on this side, actually. All right. Steam is low. So it's been utilizing the steam because we don't actually have enough uh, reactor output right now. I made an alarm for it at some point. Um, this is one. One, oh, what the hell? So we're gonna have to just let that go because it's it's warning me that the the steam is actually getting really low now because it's working overtime at this point. But I mean, the solution here is actually to actually plug in. What? It's actually it is actually in. Why do these have no performance? There's something very wrong here. I, I'm giving it water. Oh, the temperature of the heat pipes needs to go up. Oh. Okay. This actually might be a fucking disaster. <laughs> yeah, um... I didn't take that into account, actually. Well, let's just hope this works out. Um, maybe we should do something about that alarm, though. Like, mostly shut it off. Maybe go shut it off. I I was wondering about that, but yeah, I mean, it's 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 heat. Like, uh, how about you don't do? How do I not? Tell it to do alert. There you go. So it's just warning me that yeah, these steam uh, engines are basically almost done. But as soon as these heat pipes get up to temperature, they they're they're starting to make more ready. Like they're they're actually almost there. Um. So 
So that's that's good. Okay, so how many do I have plugged in right now? One, two, three. Oh, this is not plugged in. Uh huh. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, we need one more, and then I'll say that it's basically done with. It just it just needs a lot of water, so. Let's uh, make that happen. I, I'd rather it have too much water than it have too little, uh, which is how I like to do this. I, I know it needs like five or something per one, so I'm going to give them six instead. All right, so uh, it's still complaining that the steam is low, but our power capacity appears to be now uh, a little bit better. So that's... Um, that's not bad, especially because the reactor was spinning up here. I'm not sure where is it at right now. Okay, so they've all spun up. Just gonna give them some more uranium. I haven't developed quite a system for this yet, but we'll see. All right, so that's good. Uh, we don't really have to do anything about that right now. Um, okay, so. I'm going to make another save called Chernobyl 3. And we're going to start taking uh, out everything around here. I just need to get rid of my fuel cells here. Once again, we're, we're removing the bottom two uh, reactors from the equation. Because uh, we'll, we'll just spin them up later. It's fine. Uh, is this going to depower the entire factory? No, it's fine. All right. All right. So now we need to. Now we need to remove some of this stuff. Uh, particularly with this element. So this is. Um, I wouldn't say it's the harder part, but you see how I put six water uh, supplies into these. I add, need to add another six into this side, and uh, I, I'm already been like. It's already been a disaster. Like with this one. Like that's why maybe I should just shove it all to the side a little bit. You don't want to have too little water. Let's just go with that. Alright, how many substations do I have left? Six, and we're going to need a couple more. Let's just get a couple more. But it looks like we're back up to speed, and it looks like the steel became a problem all of a sudden. I wonder if that's because uh, either iron shortages, or I'm using a lot more of it. Looks like a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, actually. Because we, we're using it now in uh, in shells, like a lot of them. So, that's a limiting factor now. But luckily these ha now have full chests full of this stuff, so it actually will stop using it very soon. We still need the artillery cannons, alright. Like, the, I like I don't I don't see another way not to have them, alright. Out of, out of out of all the important stuff, that is that is definitely some of the most important. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's work on this guy now. So now these are disconnected from the system. Uh, yeah, this is this is uh, not unforeseen. Uh, right now, the entire factory is depowered. Please step out of the way. There you go. Uh, is it still all depowered? No, it's just, just this stuff here, which is uh, not a big deal to me. But just because I love this factory so much, we're going to give it power like this. All right. Now, how do we mirror the other side? Well, we can't just flip it because it's actually not a, not a mirrorable uh, thing I've made. But... This luckily does free up a lot of uh, tension for me because it's actually it's fine. Um, I mean, it, it running out of power a little bit doesn't really make a difference. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here, I think I'm just manually copying it over. I don't know. This some of this stuff can be copied. Like this guy probably can be copied. Actually, one sec. Be better than that. 
If I actually just take this into consideration. Uh, actually will work fine. I may need more heat pipes than that. Or maybe not actually. Alright, so we're going to spin up this reactor too. Uh, and... Wow, I actually ran out of some materials. Mostly uh, inserters. Why did these run out of power? I guess it's because there's nothing powering them. Alright. Uh, output priority filter, used up uranium cells over here. And then we're gonna have it go into chests somewhere. Yeah, you can actually see the, the, the base depowering for a second, so that's obviously uh, a good sign. But we're working on it. Alright, so now we have these guys up. Now we can copy and paste this other guy. Uh. All right, let's uh. What the fuck I actually left this here. Just for now, just remove all this. Uh, all right, so to mirror this, I'm more concerned with the mirroring aspect of it. All right, it's just one off the edge there, so. All right, yeah, that's, that looks pretty good. Well, actually we need to add heat pipes actually to the other side. Oh, really? I, I actually did run out of heat pipes, what the fuck? Luckily we have more. Don't worry about it. Now where is our heat pipes out there? I actually don't have space because I have all the fucking good uranium with me. No, can't be the case. All right, just put it in this box somewhere. Oh, we want to save that for for the Corvex enrichment, but you know, you know how that goes. All right. Let's do that. Okay. Now we have the rest of the heat pipes. Alright, that looks pretty good. Uh, and then... Uh, yeah, this is obviously the best idea. Was to get, get a... Like, restarting this uh, reactor when I had uh, tons of space for it. This looks like it's misaligned. Why is that? Oh my god, it actually is misaligned. By one pixel. We can't have that. I was wondering about that. It just, it, it doesn't actually line up perfectly. So it works something like this instead, right? Where are my heat pipes? Fuck, how, how does this work? I don't think I actually saved the blueprint for that, by the way, so, so we're gonna do this instead. Ah, uh, fuck, you need to get rid of all this. Dude, this sucks so much. I actually saved uh, as a part of it a bunch of stuff I wasn't supposed to. Oh well. Let's just uh, remove all this stuff on the bottom. Because it's I'm flipping it, right? You have to understand I'm, I'm flipping it around, so. Alright, so. Oops, is that the one? No, it's not the one. 
This one's the one. All right. Uh, so we do something like this. Yeah, this is sometimes this is sometimes the outrageous lengths you have to go to to fucking get your reactors going. All right. Let me make sure that the heat pipes are in place properly. It would appear that they are. And then let's do the steam engines, and then let's hook in the water, and then uh, then we've officially upgraded it. And then we need to have a better system for uh, uh, giving it some nuclear fuel as well. And we're going to have much more capacity for nuclear goodness and that used up all the steam turbines oh i'm actually missing one huh did not see that coming but that's okay maybe i missed one somewhere there you go that's the last one all right so now we need to get the uh is it the water that needs to be in here i'm actually not too sure Question is, do we need to get the water somewhere like that? Yeah, I guess we do. Oh, and I didn't even hook in the steam pipes at all here. Look at that. Like I said, like I said, the steam, that's the that's the more important part. Okay, I, I these reactors are going, I know, but it's like whatever. They'll they'll be fine. And you can already see they're dispensing of their their fuel cells. Okay, uh, this one was about to start up, but uh, we stopped it. There you go. It's got a way to get rid of it now. Um, Alright, so what I do for these, I hook them in like this. Alright, so that's how we get the water in, and now we have some water down here so let's uh try and get as much of it over as possible and probably same system we're gonna try and uh, aim for like six of them that's the first one this is not gonna be the prettiest thing and i and i kind of acknowledge that at this point but yeah Just simply because we only this is our only water supply, right? And I and I honestly I, I didn't really think to myself I would be, you know, utilizing more than this, but apparently that's how it went down. Alright. There's that one. Now we need to make sure it's not going down. You see this this one this one right here, I shouldn't touch. Uh this one though goes up into that. I think we're actually out of the one the yeah, we don't uh, none of these water things, we actually, we, we're using them all for something else now. So, uh, not unforeseen actually. But it does mean I probably should have worked this out a little bit better. Because I actually need three more. Alright, let's just, we'll just bring this guy up right away. Oh god, this, this fucking spaghetti mess. <laughs> Oh shit. This is a problem when you have like just one water supply for the entire thing. Oh my god. Uh Alright. And then we just need two more. And then and then I'll I will consider it working. So there's two more right here, so we'll that's what we'll do. Alright, and then uh I guess it doesn't need to be this far up, actually. Uh, something like this. Oh, I mean, now, now there's gonna be like no car axis here at all. Uh. Yeah, this is some next level spaghetti, but yeah. Just 
just do something like this. Alright, now that should be enough water for all of this. And if you actually look, so our power capacity is... So we don't actually have the steam capacity for this at the moment, but... Um, yeah, but we do have... I, I mean, it's fine. So we're gonna make it on this side, the steam. Actually, I was gonna have it one way. I'm very adamant about that, actually. Is it? Is there actually uh, something on this side too? No, I just kind of worked it out like this. All right. All right. So that's how we're gonna actually. It, we should underground pipe this. I'm, I'm being. I'm being dumb. Only a deconstruction planner can fit here. All right. So it looks like we've done it actually. Uh, no meltdowns. No meltdowns. But we will have to. Uh, we're right now feeding these manually, which is obviously not a good thing. Uh, so, how the fuck do I ever fit myself into these areas? So, what we're going to do first is we're going to have a... Uh, we're going to sushi belt the remainder of my nuclear fuel here. How is that not powered? Oh, this thing is at the capacity. That's weird. Alright. Yeah, look at these. He's, he's destroyed three now. It's fucking great. So he's just gonna unload what he has right there, so we don't really have to worry about that. Uh, that's the first thing. We gotta probably resume this thing, doing its uh, filter for shit uranium. And this one's going to just find good uranium. I, I don't know how I'm going to handle the boxes that. I haven't really made a system for that. I just, I just need this to resume. It probably should actually be a white inserter. So if I replace this, well, it, yeah, it actually does do it. We can actually, we can do one up and we can actually have them both do the same thing. All right, there we go. I just well, I wanted the our, our like little enrichment process uh, process there to continue. All right. Um, I apparently have fucked up here, but it's a good thing we noticed that. We want we want this to strictly be for uh, spent uh, uranium cells, so it no longer just has like its own little private box for this stuff. Yeah. So this is like about like a gigawatt or so of power now, so that's um, that's definitely a positive. Uh, but we do want to have it so that we are making additional resources here. This might be where our new bot system works out. Uh, uh, we, we could have a logistics network. So we now have uh, uh, we have, we now have buffer chests and. Uh, Requester chests and things like that, so that might be oh, pretty good. So if you place one down, it's like uh, logic request uranium two three five have a hundred in the chest at all times, things like that. Um, you know, just because we can. Uh, I haven't decided yet how that's gonna work, but maybe maybe we'll start using them. I usually belt things all the time, but you know, as as you can see, that maybe that's not the best idea all the time. Uh, how's our factory doing for resources? So, I mean, it's most of the time it's working out. How's our productivity modules? All right, we got 36 now. It's pretty good. All right, so uh, let's just fix up this guy. I have to debate to myself very heavily how I want to handle that. Actually, before we do that, sorry. Almost forgot. Uh, we're gonna just have a bunch of steam here. And yeah, I am gonna one way it just because I I I would prefer that didn't go any other way. 
This is why one way this stuff is, uh, because I, I, I would prefer not to have, like, I, I would prefer them to fill up and not have the steam engines grabbing it from here. Although that may not be the worst thing, honestly. You know what, it's fine. We don't have to one way it. I just, I changed my mind. We'll do something like that. There you go. That way both sides fill up. Because yeah, then, then, then you know, if something's wrong with the steam, at least then the rest of the, the network can can have it. All right. And we need to hook in our coal liquefaction again, even though we don't use uh, coal liquefaction. <laughs> but you never know; we may one day. Uh, this is like, by the way, I, I kind of just came up with this this system by myself. I'm not sure if it's a good system, but you know. Uh, it is definitely a system. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. This is just for the steam that we had before. Now that I know has it has its own pump, so we actually don't really have to concern ourselves too much, but we will, I, I guess we'll just pump it over here then. Actually, no we're not. Fuck that. Alright, there we go. So the steam is hooked back in, we don't have to care about that. Um, let's just make sure everything has water in it. That's the main thing I'm concerned about. It seems to be getting the water it needs. So there's like 170s, yeah. As long as at the end that they have some water in there, that's what I, that's what I was kind of concerned about. Because uh, I, I simply don't know how much water they actually need. Immediate, they actually might need a little bit more than this. It just depends upon how it flows around, this stuff. Uh, I just, I, I don't really know. I'm just assuming that these ones kind of go a little bit more to the left, and these and this one goes a little bit more to the right. So, I, I, as I said, I gave it more than it needs, so... Uh, here's to hoping. Alright, so... And we're keeping these reactors down. Uh, so right now our power capacity is more like 600 megawatts. Uh, so, it's it's fine. It's fine the way it is. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to tell it... Uh, you're going to make your name fierce little... You know, maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll bot this. Let's uh let's let's do a bot network for this actually. So, um, so I guess we're not going for that copper patch at the top then just yet. I guess that'll be next episode. Um, uh, because this entire episode is literally spent upgrading those reactors. Um, so let's do first things first. First things first. Uh, so we ha already have um these machines here. Uh, we, we already have the ability to make flying machines. So we, what we need actually is we need logistic robots. So logistic robots require two advanced circuits. So is there a place I can just easily grab those? Well, I mean, sort of. They're right here, but you know. Oh, uh, we're going to have to do something like this way. Huh. So we just kind of need to bring this down here. So this is something I really haven't really delved too deep into. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it, I, I didn't deem it as like something that was absolutely necessary to do right away. It wasn't It wasn't the top of the priority list, let me tell you that. So we make another uh, machine here. And this is going to make uh, logistic robots. And it's going to feed directly into a robot port somewhere over here. Alright, and so this robot port is going to be hooked into a inserter. Uh, where's the... There we go. Just need a cable. So it's going to be hooked into this inserter. It's going to read robot statistics and total logistic robots and, and the network is Y. So we say... Uh, Y is less than, I don't know, what's a good number, 250 for now? So that's that. this is kind of how I do this stuff. Um, let me give it some inserters. Apparently it could be much faster than this. So it's putting uh, logistic robots into this. Um, and now we can start making a logistics network with this. 
So, doing that can be kind of interesting, because I actually didn't really plan out this incredibly well. Um, so, ideally, we just kind of, like, place a bunch of... Uh, <laughs> we put, place a bunch of robo ports in various places. Um, and hopefully it's, they don't get in the way. If they get in the way, then we have to do something about it. But it's just a matter of this is where the robot ports are allowed to operate. Um, Alright, so that's that's okay. So so the way it works is the orange is where the log log uh, the, the logistic robots are allowed to work. And the... Um... Now, we don't want to network these because if we network those, then we're going to have construction robots in the network. And that's that's not fun. So we're actually going to have to be careful about that. So we don't want to have this necessarily stretch too far and wide. Um, I was thinking just down here, somewhere. Yeah, right there is actually pretty good. All right, that's that's pretty nice. All right, so we're gonna have a. Uh, so now we start using storage chests, and actually, for that matter, we can actually start doing trash slots and stuff like that. So let me let me do that. So I guess over up here, this will eventually be some sort of like elaborate system here. Uh, I guess we can make this slightly further up, but not that much further up. <laughs> All right, this is good. All right, so now now we can start fucking around with this stuff. So, by the way, they have changes as of my as of my network. So here's uh, sorry as of this patch. Uh, so this is kind of the way it works. So they have uh, we'll just make a couple of these each. Buffer chests, storage chests, and passive provider chests. So, as far as I know, the passive provider chests are like, oh, you can, you know, uh, the passive provider chests essentially allow you to, um, those are the main ones. Those are like, uh, the, you should take from these, you know, Okay, so what what the bots will do is they'll they'll prefer to take from storage chests. Uh, I think it's passive provider chests next. I'm not sure what the buffer chests do. Um, it says here uh, requests spe specified items to be available for personal logistics and automated construction. Um, so if I actually put this in, so I guess it does uh, it does kind of request stuff. So. I, I know requester chests actively request things from the network. I don't know. I don't know what buffer chests do. And, and and so okay. So what active provider chests do? I know what this does is that the bots will try to offload anything that's in an active provider chest all the time, no matter what. They just try and get rid of it. That's all they ever do. Um, the passive provider chests. I'm not too sure. I, I think that's just like. Whatever. I think I think if I put this in a passive provider chest, I think that will be fine. Um, how far up does this go? Okay, let's put uh, like you can put a bunch of storage chests here or something. So storage chest is where it just like likes to you know just offload things and not care about it. We're just we're getting more logistics stuff right now. So. What I should be able to say now is I should be able to make a buffer chest here, all right? And this, uh, either a requester, probably a requester chest actually, all right? And what I should be able to say with this is that, hey, can you get me at all times 100, uh, a stack of uranium-235 and a stack of uranium uh, other one? Request for, oh, you can request from buffer chest. That's what you do. That's weird. All right, so, um, it looks like it's actually not really working. So you can actually see... Okay, so apparently there's no active... So it says in the network. Fucking hell. This is why... I mean, I, I kind of get the bots. I, I, I don't really... Oh, here. Oh, they actually did deliver them. And, oh... Okay, they're doing their job now. Sorry, I was wondering if I fucked it up. Uh, but it, it turns out I didn't. Um, yeah, that's all they do. So... Uh, now... Now we don't care. So now... It's it's essentially... I, I guess sort of cheating. Because 
The bots literally teleport uh, resources around. Uh, well, it's not technically cheating, but like you know, that's 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 what that's what the difference is with that. It's the the bots the bots will move things around. Um, so they, they, they travel between things, uh, between two places in the logistics network. Um, and they just, they bring the resources over to the chest that needs them. So, and this is kind of, um, one of, one of the many fun things you can do in this game. Um, you can work around this. So, instead of having a belt, bring it over here, uh, or a train or, or whatever other means, um, you know, you can just have bots bring it over here. And so apparently there's one extra one here, but like what it does is it tries to maintain a hundred a hundred there and oh we need some iron here too So you know what we do we just say hey bring me a stack of iron as well And so there has to be somewhere in the network uh, with that stuff with that stuff. So we need to go over here somewhere uh, And make a chest full of uh, uh, Let's see here storage chest Maybe we'll make a passive provider chest for this. So we already have a line here of iron. Maybe maybe a little bit more further down. Where's the passive provider chest? And then we just have it make get, get, have one stack in there at all times. The bots will come over. They'll pick it up. And they will take it over there. So as you can see, they're, you know, having a good time. So that's how that works. So pretty interesting stuff so far. Um, and so there's actually a couple more things we can do. So if we feel... So you remember how I always have the wood with me and the wood pisses me off? Uh, this is actually something we can do. Do I have wood here? Okay, so I have wood with me. And wood annoys me. So let's, uh, let's continue to make our little network here. Because we want to expand to most parts of the base, honestly. I was, I'm, I'm almost honestly thinking about putting it in the middle of the road here. A lot of the time. But then again, it's not really not that necessary. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I didn't do this right. I I I I'll be honest with you. I do not have any good system for setting up bot networks because usually by the uh, usually this is like for me. I'm getting near the end of the game, so I, I usually don't spend a lot of time with this stuff. But um, I, I this is actually the first time I've gotten relatively early, so I'm like just placing them in random parts of my base. So um, I don't know if this is a bad thing to do. I really don't. All right. I actually, I'm, I, I'm actually really into hearing some, like, suggestions for this stuff. Anyways, so we can have a storage chest here, and we can filter this by, like, wood or something. Um, I mean, we could do that. So we, we just basically do that. We could have, like, more chests. Like, I don't know what else we have. They, they've actually made this better. So you just make a couple of storage chests here. Things like this is also, you know, it counts as something like that. So all I do here is I say like, oh, hey, logistic trash slots. Uh, let's put, well, actually you can auto, tra where's the auto trash slots? There, there used to be uh, auto trash slots. Uh, allows you to set limits on inventory items. Uh, I guess we just need to research it more. Apparently I didn't research enough, but yeah, you can, um, you can send this wood to the trash. The bots will just come over here and, you know, dump it out. You know, because we, we don't want this this garbage. Um, unfortunately, I, I can't set an auto trash slot, so... Uh, not until I get the research for it, but that's why we're doing that now. Apparently we have major steel problems. And as like I said, it's this thing, this this shit's eating it all up. But now it's all also done on that note. Um, all right. So that's one of the things we can do. Um, I'm just I'm going into most of the stuff that I think I can do. I, I'm trying to remember. All right, this is this is some of the better stuff. So we're gonna upgrade all these chests here with passive provider chests. So. 
So this is a really neat thing about the bots. So we can also say for the bot for the logistics network. So let's say I have like 31. Uh, I have uh, 31 underground belts. So because now this is now in the logistics network and they're in the proper chests, we can now say, hey, I want to have at all times 50 uh, underground belts. And they will come over here. They will give me that precise amount. No more, no less. And that's it. And so we can now just do a bunch of stuff like, hey, give me 50 splitters, 50 this thing, 50 that. This way, you know how I keep coming over here and, and having to fill this sh this crap up? Uh, now I don't have to worry about it. Um, unfortunately, I've run out of slots here, though. Um, but, you know, you, you get the idea. Um, I, I mean, the thing is, you can get more logistics slots. I'm, I'm just, I, I haven't really upgraded them up to now. So... So these are not in a logistics network right now, so we need to kind of upgrade this, but we do not want it to also be part of our little network here. Um, fucking hell. How, how close was I to completing this? I was very close. So these are just useful uh, because now, now I can do things like, you know, like I said, I, I don't have to really concern myself too much with... Um, Anything weird. So if I put if I put construction bots into the network, it's, it becomes annoying. So uh, that's why we're not going to do that. I think this network is honestly good enough because I think it encompasses most of what I wanted to have in here. So uh, how many more passive provider chests? So yeah, they added this system of buffer chests, and and like as I said, don't ask me. I, I'm not. I I haven't quite looked into how they work. And to be honest, I wasn't even sure I'd even show it off really. But I guess I guess I am because I'm I'm like I'm in the mood for showing off toys now. So. Um, we can have it on rails, um, we can have these two things here. These do not count as part of the logistics network, so we'll just, uh, bring one of the bot things over here. How much more do we need? Just, it's, it's constantly, they, they just need steel chests, so. Alright, there we go. So if we do, if we do this, so this adds more logistic trash slots, and then unlocks auto character logistic trash slots well that's that's kind of the end goal here but let's get let's just finish this one first um so like as i said anything i don't like i just put into here and i don't think there's oh if i control click it yeah it does move into there so copper cable and stuff and i guess the idea is though like for example if i make a storage chest so luckily they've done this in such a way now where it's different um so Unfortunately, it puts the inserters in, like, here. I'm not sure why. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it has nowhere to put it. Even though there's a chest, it's a, it's, a, it's actually a requester chest, right? Um, I, I'm not, I, I'm sure you could set that up better. I think maybe if you made it, make it fit, like, if I put, like, let's say, uh, a storage chest here for the, um, for the, for this guy, or, sorry, for this guy, no, 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 this guy. If I made this into like a storage chest and then like limited it to to two stacks, I think it would keep adding it to the, to the chest if I needed it to. But I'm not sure. But the passive, I don't know. You know what? I, I'm not too much into these. What if I make a requester chest for this stuff? Right, does it actually bring that over? I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess not. I'm gonna guess not. All right, so I, 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 I don't know what the buffer chests do. I, 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 I know they have a purpose, and I'll have to look them up probably after uh, the break. So uh, we're almost done requester chesting most of the crap here, though. So like, you know, the little places where you see I have like little chests here to store materials for myself, yeah. All right, let's get the last auto trash slots. Where are they? Uh, we need those. So these are, these are kind of useful. These are these are very very useful. So yeah, if I control click on stuff, it'll get rid of it. Um, trying to think of what else uh, that we can use. Cause I, I I just I I this is how I used to do it. I used to just make a bunch of passive provider chests. So I'm not sure if that's the play anymore. 
but I'll look it up after this. Um, there we go, some miners here, so, you know. So now now we got a couple more things. So we could say, okay, we want, we want two stacks of, whoops, no, not that many. We want two stacks of medium electric poles, one stack of big, big electric poles at all times. Hey, it's just giving it to me now. Uh, what else do we need? Um, I don't know, maybe some pipes, like, keep, like, uh, four stacks on me. The underground pipes keep 50 at least on me. And so, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty smart about this stuff. So he's just giving me more pipes. There you go. Let's give me another stack of that, too. Um, I don't know what else I need. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get a... Let's make sure we always have 50 assembling machines on us. I don't know. Do we need miners at all? Probably not. And you can, I, I don't think you can do a one-time request. I think it's just, it's just, this is how logistics work. And you just unlock more and more slots of this stuff. So there, it's giving me more of that stuff, you know. I don't know, do we want lights? Uh, let's keep two stacks of lights. How does that sound? So, you know, and then they come over, they get the lights, they bring more of it to me, you know. Very nice. They're actually very, they're actually, it's actually very nice. It's a very, it's a convenience thing. And like I said, now you can actually kind of make your factory work around the fact that, you know, this chest now has like always a bit of iron, a bit of, um, uh, all the resources it needs, you know, to basically make this, this guy go. Uh, but this chest keeps, uh, a hundred K of the regular uranium. So that's kind of nice. So, you know, we don't have to, uh, we don't have to belt everything all the time necessarily. So, our power output is looking very good now. Um, like I said, these two reactors are not going. They're good. We're going to spin them up at some other point. I wonder what the... So, now the neighbor bonus is. So, I guess this is the concept I didn't explain. You know, why I did this nuclear reactor setup. Ugh, sorry, I'm stretching. So, it may seem a bit confusing to you guys, but uh, I'll just run through it real quick. So, um... You see these reactors? Um, so like, okay, so you got like, we got neighbor bonus 100%, neighbor bonus 200%, neighbor bonus 300%, neighbor bonus 200%. So the more these reactors are beside, directly beside other reactors, uh, the more power they produce. Um, that's just how they work. It's it's super weird. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what keeps happening. Um, and that's why you can't scale things up Linear, uh, like linearly, you have to actually, you know, find the ratio for it and then make like the appropriate amount. And oh god, that symmetry pissed me off. So let's go fix that. Um, yeah, it, it does not scale up in a linear fashion. It's a very sad story. So like, the more reactors you add, um, the worse it becomes. So if you add another, like if I if I were to copy and paste my old one. I would be losing out on potential power gains, and then and then maybe I would have gotten to the point in the game where I would have gotten really mad because I would have been like, "Fuck, you know, I could have had, you know, an extra power thing somewhere. I don't know, uh, like like because I'm losing out on 100 megawatts and I just need 100 megawatts to keep me going, you know. So um, it would have been, it would have been sad. It would have been sad if that's how it worked out. But you know, I, I did I did upgrade the reactor while it was still running, so that was. Um, Quite the trick, I will not lie. So, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm hoping that this gets most of the power out. I'm not sure about the efficiency of this necessarily, but, um, you know, it's uh, kind of how that works. So yeah, now there's like 48 uranium fuel cells in here. Luckily, so, but it, as I said, the requester chest gets everything it needs to, so. You don't have to really worry about that. In fact, you know, we can even tell it, like, hey, um... You know, maybe maybe a little bit more uranium because it actually uses a lot more of that. Uh, yeah, we don't need that. So they'll go up here. They'll get more more uranium from over here. And then and then and then at this at, at some at some point we're gonna start Corvax enrichment. So that should be nice. I figured this is like actually the perfect time to actually you know showcase these bots and how they work. So. Um, and there you go, auto trash slot. So now, now I can show you guys that, and then I guess we're basically done. Um, should we get more logistic slots? I guess we can get a couple more. I don't know how many more of them I'm gonna need. All right, so we now have an auto trash tab, uh, so we can say auto trash. Where is it? 
or is wood because we will never need wood with us now if we were really really smart we'd have some kind of like elaborate way of uh you know making utilizing this stuff but i'm not sure actually yeah so you can you can add as many as you want so every time every time i pick up wood now um so i have to say i want to keep at least zero in the in the in, in my inventory so it just automatically gets rid of it so what happens if you if you light up wood i wonder I think it's Minecraft I'm thinking of, but, you know, by golly, I'll, I'll try it anyways. I'm trying to think, think of a thing I could do with wood. No, nope. literally worthless. Worthless, worthless wood. So I have no way of really burning it. I'm just going to have a single chest here, and uh, I'm not sure what to do with it. Um, I'll think about that as well. So anything I don't like, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, another good example is actually the small electric poles. I don't need those, so I'd rather they just get rid of it from my inventory here. Um, you know, things like that, or like if you have too many of something. Actually, coal is a good example. So this is actually a good system that I can make here. So you know how I keep picking up coal, right? And I don't want the coal, so I want to get rid of the coal somehow. Um, so the easiest thing for me to do actually is just set up something here. Uh, it's a very simple system actually. So I just make a coal logistic filter. It's good, like, and this is this can be how I auto trash certain things. So okay, so this is a coal logistic chest. Um, and I, you know, I'll even go one up and I'll just make sure it doesn't, uh, pick up anything that's not supposed to with, a uh, one of these kinds of, uh, things right there. So now I'll save for myself. So I have this coal here, auto trash coal all the time, no matter what, because I, I don't need it. I really don't. So they'll get rid of the coal. They'll put it into this chest and then the coal will be fed back into the system. Every t every time I come every time I walk around with the bots, so that's that's kind of nice. like it's like no waste, no waste at all. I can do the same with iron. I can do the same with um, um, maybe the stone bricks I don't want. Um, I don't know if I would need stone bricks to be honest. Um, we'll see. I'm just gonna get rid of some of these blueprints now. But yeah, so that's that's basically the 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 gist of um, how the bot logistics works. So. Uh, I mean, that's kind of nice. That's that's kind of a nice system. So, um, you know, I just want to show it off, you know, and then we have a good time. Uh, apparently, I had made an additional deconstruction planner. So that's pretty much it for now. Um, actually, I can I can just, I can throw away these things into, oh, I apparently cannot just trash these. I don't know if there's a special hotkey to trash things, but I don't need heat pipes anymore, so... Uh, I, like I'm not I'm not destroying them. I'm just putting them in 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 storage chests for some other time. Like this programmable speaker, I don't need it. Fuck that thing. All right. So for next time, um, I'm beginning to think that we're gonna need a couple more resources. I'm not too sure. Um, oh, boy, look at these guys. They made a nest right beside there. So. Um, I am thinking to myself that we should get more iron at least. Yeah, we're going to need more iron. We're going to need more copper. So um, I did kind of want to show off like utilizing artillery trains to clear out the ways um, for some of these materials. So I'm really hoping that this is going to be something much greater, but um, I guess we'll see. So next time that's what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll do that. Either that or I'm going to have to head for these guys. And once again, I'm going to use artillery trains to clear the way. So we can kind of have fun and just kind of watch that. So I, I did promise not too many more kind of like uh, base building episodes. Um, so I don't really consider this base building necessarily. Uh, it's like, as I said, it's clearing out shit with artillery trains. So uh, we'll, we'll have a look at that. Oh my God, that's a lot of stuff.